Hello, viewers. I'm so glad and joyful to be coming your way again, reflecting from the Open Heaven Daily Devotional Guide written by Pastor E.A. Adeboye of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. My name is Pastor Edith George from RCCG Beth Escort in Bexley Heat. Today, the topic before us is the spiritual marathon, the spiritual marathon. And our Bible passage is taken from the book of Hebrews chapter 12, 1 to 3. Therefore, we also, since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which so easily ensnares us and let us run with endurance the race that is set before us, looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and has sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. For consider him who endured such hostility from sinners against himself, lest you become weary and discouraged in your souls. Our memory verse is Matthew chapter 24, verse 13. Matthew 24, verse 13, it reads, But he who endures to the end shall be saved. Our reflections. In our Open Heavens Daily Guide of today, underscores one truth to us that we might be aware of, or some of us really might not be aware of it. The moment, and the truth is that the moment we give our life to Jesus, the moment we gave our life to Jesus, we commence a spiritual race to our heavenly destination. The nature of this race is that it is not a sprint, but a marathon. It is a marathon because it is a long haul. It is a race that may last one, it may last two, three, four, five, or even many more decades it requires many decades of total dedication to the Lord. From our Bible passage of today, the one thing that will make the race more difficult is when you carry a load or a weight that makes you very heavy with the consequence of not being able to run effectively. Can you check your life today? Can you evaluate your life today and uncover any sins and any things that could amount to weight in your life and deal with them immediately. They do nothing other than to ensnare us these weights. I pray that the Lord will deliver you from every yoke of sin today in the mighty name of Jesus. It is also important to point the end result of the marathon race so we, we can make up our minds that we will finish and finish strong in the name of Jesus. Some people will start the race and run with speed. And before long, they will have been tired. When they start, they are traced every other person. They are thrown every other person. But before long, they lose steam and they begin to retrogress instead of progressing. Some of the people that they are thrown will not start to leave them behind. Some in the process of running the race are very careless and they sustain injuries which will create some dent and scar on them thereby ending up in an ambulance, making them to end up in an ambulance, in, a, in an hospital. Some recover, others do not recover. These can be people who got into scandals that result in them seeking spiritual rehabilitation. Some others will drop out as a result of exhaustion. Be careful, my viewers, as you run this race so you don't become a spiritual casualty. The Lord will help us to attain and receive the prize of our heavenly home in the name of Jesus. Our prayer point, it says, Father, grant me the grace to run the race to heaven with wisdom, patience, and perseverance. I pray that the Lord will take us to the end, even in this Christian race, in the name of Jesus. God bless you, my viewers. Till I come your way again, may the Lord keep you perfect in his ways, and may you make it to the place of your destination in heaven, in Jesus' name.